It's now about like 6 p.m. The sun's starting to come down because it's about November in Night City. And um, uh, you're standing outside of your apartment on your stoop. Uh, taco guy, uh, you hear the, the notable ding, ding, ding of the bell of taco guy dragging his little cart up to your stoop. And he's like, hey, everybody. And he waves to you all. Wait, he doesn't have a name. Right. No, you know him as the taco guy. He knows all of your names. And he, uh, also, he speaks in Spanish. Uh, and you all know enough Spanish to be able to talk to him. And he knows enough English to understand you. I don't know any Spanish, so I'm not going to pretend. <laughs> Just know that he is always speaking in Spanish. <laughs> D in Spanish, so I only understand 60% of what he says. Yes. <laughs> um, I have a really important question regarding our apartment. Sure. Do we have a stoop kid? Stoop Ooh, kid. I think we're and all. Is he afraid kid. to leave the stoop? <laughs> is he afraid to leave the stoop? <laughs> kid to leave. I want to say you guys probably have a neighborhood kid that likes to stop by occasionally and talk to you guys, but he's not always there. <laughs> he buys a lot of brownies though. He does. He comes for the brownies though, and you make you make good brownies for him. <laughs> not everybody assumes they got drugs in them. Yeah. <laughs> Well. We all do. <laughs> we all How do. How little you know about me. I go up to TG. You go, hey, TG, I'll take the usual. Ah, the usual, yeah. I and give he... him candy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I no, think. I'm going to need some Eddie's. I give him wet money. Wet American money. American <laughs> money. <laughs> and he, uh, uh, he cooks you up uh, two tacos, puts them on a plate, and then he hands you from, he opens the little compartment in the bottom of his uh, cart. And uh, just a kind of reference for everybody, this cart is kind of like, if you've ever been to like a baseball game or something, you see those people that are cooking like hot dogs outside of a baseball game on those little like kind of shopping cart sized carts. That's basically what he's got. Um, and uh, he opens this little door in his cart and he pulls out a horchata um, milkshake for you and he hands it to you. You're, you're the best, TG. You're always the best. Can you make these wet? Just smear it up. <laughs> he just uh, pulls out some, uh, oh, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he pulls out, uh, like, uh, this, like, kind of sauce, and he just kind of drenches them in it. That's, it's that's all hot sauce. Best. Yeah. That's why you're the best. And I just, I just unhinge my jaw, <laughs> and all of it goes in at the same time. Literally. <laughs> As I walk away sipping my horchata. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. It's disturbing to say the least. <laughs> like a viper. <laughs> and, and I'm done. That's it. I'm done tonight. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm just going to oh, go good. back to my apartment and make brownies and hang out with my duck, Rick. <laughs> Anybody? Uh, the cows, do you want, do you want your yeah, order? I get, can I get like, I'll get three avocado tacos. Oh, okay, okay. He serves you all like your usual orders that you have. So you all have a taco in hand uh, sitting on the stoop as the sun is starting to set a nice orange lighting coming in. Excellent. Did we get um, a value for the amount that we got? Uh, I, I didn't really come up with one yet, uh, but I want to say what's left over for all of you afterwards would be about 300 eddies. Like you, you took oh. all of Mikey's money. So, and like a, most of it, you put towards the fund for the apartment and the and the community and stuff. But you did keep a little bit for yourselves because you th you felt you deserved it because it was an unpaid gig that you did anyway. So, because we're bad also guys. make sure that Moth does get what Moth was actually supposed to get. Yeah, which was his rent money, which you now have. So we're all good. all of it. <laughs> Some Listen. of it was for his He's livelihood. He's also supposed to get his comeuppance. <laughs> so wait, uh, do we take th that three hundred? I can do whatever the hell I want with yeah, it. Yeah, sure. That okay, you I'm can gonna go party with it. You can buy some new. I'm giving it finger. to Moth. Or... I make a lot, so I'm fine. I'm giving yeah. it to Moth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where can I buy a finger? You want to know more about that option? <laughs> uh, speaking of which, Jed, Jed, uh, Jed is um, he's he's kind of like eating his his taco, uh, sitting next to the door, and his daughter runs out of the door. He's like, "Dad, come on! I got I need, I, we got an emergency over here." He's like, "Oh, okay," and he throws his taco over his shoulder, just into like there's like a trash heap kind of in the alleyway, and he kind of throws it over there. It actually lands with no problem at all, and he runs inside the house uh, to his his room <laughs> to do more Station. operations i have a question mm -hmm. um how do you spell sino is it c-e-e-n-o uh, c-i-n-o okay cool um second the um the footage from the mikey fight 
Yes. Um, as I want to send that to my video editor guy, Rip Wave, to start editing that into something sellable. <laughs> You would Something probably, to do that, you would probably have to go up to your room and jack into your uh, your laptop to download. You're talking about the brain dance video? Yeah. Yeah, you would have to, because it's like a port on your, like, head. <laughs> you would have okay. to, like, plug into your laptop to download it and then be able to gotcha. send it to him. Um, or you would just have to meet him in real life. Hey, no. Nope. Outside of the tabletop RPG we're playing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Rip Wave is a person that exists. It really <laughs> Okay, um, cool. cool, cool, and then I was able to get uh, the uh, the like license of the the car license plate. Of yeah, the car, right? Yeah, yeah. The the limo that King drove away in. Yeah. 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 Cool, 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 cool. Just nonchalantly like eating a taquito. <laughs> You see uh, Moth open the front door to the apartments. He's like, oh, I heard the taco guy's back. Oh, hey, everybody. How's it going? Did you? Are you okay? Are you okay? I saw Jed running up. Oh, uh, we're fine. We, uh, we took care of that problem for you. Oh, Mikey's um, not okay. Oh, my God. Oh, what happened? Uh, Mike is not going to be an issue anymore. Um, oh. And I'm going to walk up to Moth. And I think I, would I probably would have... Whatever, USBs. That's easy. Uh, <laughs> chips. <laughs> yeah, ch chipses. chips. Chips, um, bills, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Turns out bills actually um, do exist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give them the, uh, the amount that Lux didn't want. Um, plus the other stuff. Whatever they're owed, plus whatever Lux didn't want. Oh, my God. This will fill out any backfill that I was waiting on for Mikey, too. It's... Has he been hoarding this stuff for a while? What was, what happened? Like, what, what did, what, he never really told me why he just stopped doing business with me. What was going on? He got paranoid, I guess. Stocking up on stuff, trying to make a break for it. Oh, man. Is it because of I, all the news? I, I think it's a bit, a uh, bit conspiracy related, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see a lot of people doing that lately. It's a, it's a damn shame. People gotta grow better stock, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for this, though. This will keep me afloat for a while. In fact, he hands a little bit back to you, Zed. Uh, he's like, here's next month's rent, too. I'll just prepay it. I still have enough to go on even after all this. Thank you so much. All right, much obliged. Thank you. Yeah. And then he goes up to Taco Guy and gets his order. He has to, like, look up to him. Because <laughs> yeah, Moth is very short. <laughs> Ooh, but yeah, with that, you all have the ability to just kind of do what you would do before nighttime. Um, any anything that comes to your character's mind or anything like that, you can just start doing it. We'll just start going. <laughs> when uh, when you all fall asleep, I have more planned. But if you want to do some cool character stuff before that, we can go from there. Uh, how do we repair armor? Uh, you probably, if you wanted to repair your armor and stuff, uh, you're talking about, like, if you took SP damage or something. Yeah. Um, you're a tech, so you could probably just take time to do it. Um, if you wanted to, like, bring everybody's, like, parts that are busted in some way, I would say mm -hmm. you could just spend your night doing it, and then it would be returned to full SP when they're all done. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll offer, uh, anybody need some repairs? Just drop them off, I'll, uh, get to them tonight. I was thinking about making something for uh, the good doctor, so I could maybe chill in the shop with you. Sure. Yeah, I got a bunch of brownies. If you guys want to eat brownies while we do that, <laughs> sounds fabulous. Yeah, that sounds. Can Rick safe, come though. Yeah. Rick is kind of. He doesn't want to be left out. He's he's a duck. He's a real life duck that is can canonically. <laughs> <laughs> As long as we don't have another Rick incident, I'm fine with it. I can't guarantee there won't be another Rick incident, but I apologize for all the blood last time. <laughs> I, I don't know where he learned to use that welder, but man, he's a pro. He was good at it for a little while until... Until he know. got to the table saw, and that's when things went south. And all, all those kids. All those kids. <laughs> learned a lot that day. The kids. About kids. <laughs> anyway, I'll go get Rick. <laughs> You head off down the block. 
<laughs> Where he does doesn't Rick live? With live? Me. <laughs> <laughs> lives in my apartment. Yeah, I know. I'm the, just kidding. <laughs> in the kiddie pool, which is why I'm always soaking wet because I'm hanging out with Rick in my kiddie pool. Oh, that explains oh. everything. Mystery solved. Now we get it. <laughs> is that really why? It is now. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. I, I don't want to know why it was beforehand. I don't. Last time it literally anything. panicked and just said something, <laughs> and then and then people kept I'm asking wet. about it. <laughs> Where all the time? <laughs> just all the time. Just part of my character. Wet. <laughs> right. Um, what do you think? <laughs> I'll uh, I'll catch up with y'all later. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little little poking around, seeing what that king king fellow's up to. Why why was he doing whatever he was doing? I'll be upstairs though if you need me. Um, I think. Th <laughs> um, <laughs> you have to do that every that was time. That. That was <laughs> she just kind of like walks <laughs> in place but goes upwards. <laughs> what the fuck? No, you know those holes that some of the floor has. I just like I just elevate. <laughs> and and <it's> trippy. <laughs> Um, I think room. I would go have brownies with people, but then at some point I would go and uh, put on different clothing and go out um, because that's what I do every night. But I think while I, I am out, I'm going to try to connect with some of the shadier people that I know to see if they know anything about what the hell is his name? Cheeto? Uh, King? King? Mike? Mick? Mike? Oh, Mikey? Mikey. No, but the one who wanted to buy the apartment from us. King. Oh, King. That's King. King! King. Yeah. That guy. Yes. Alrighty, so if that's the case, then uh, Micah and Kells, you head off to uh, Micah's... What, what's the name of your shop again? It's Lasting Impressions? Yeah. Yeah, so you head off to the garage, which is right next to the stoop, and the garage door opens. Uh, what's your garage look like, Micah? Yeah, so um, it's got a big neon flashing open sign that's been on this whole time. I just locked the door and forgot to turn it off. <laughs> um, <laughs> inside, it's pretty big. In front of the door, almost like blocking off the walkway, except for a little portion, there's like a desk with like some display items that I don't really sell. They just are presentable. Um, and then behind that, there's all of my workspace, which is just power tools, um, tables, just piled with tech then the other half is kind of reserved for our motorcycles and what did you say we had like a, a tank suspended there, in on the ceiling yeah i thought a cool decoration piece would be a dissected tank like just yeah. like the shell of it is like just kind of hanging like a cool decoration yeah uh, you okay, found it everything. somewhere and you're like this is badass this is going up in the shop <laughs> i do just want to say long-term goal rebuilding the tank yeah, there you go. <laughs> one day it's going to come in handy. This is the so this is the gun you've set up in act 1 that needs to go off like the, at the end of the campaign. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh Chekhov's tank. <laughs> um but anyway, A okay, so storytelling. <laughs> So, uh, with, uh, Kells and Micah hanging out in the shop, basically doing, uh, uh, tech stuff. Kells, what were you wanting to build for Jed? I'd like to see our, our good doctor friend, um, the only licensed medical professional in the building, uh, ran in with his fist to a gunfight, so I was thinking maybe I could create a nomad boomerang, something that I have, hmm. for him. And he pulls it out, and it's a it's a tire iron with nails welded to part of it. There is a screwdriver, like electrical taped to one end, and it's just a bunch of pointy, pointy spiky things. Uh, it is heavy and not designed to return. Is what oh, the description so you is. just <laughs> you just hawk it at him. I mean, yeah. So boomerangs weren't always just long range. You can also use yeah. them at short range too, and, like beat people with them. <laughs> but, but giving giving the doctor an option to throw instead of just yeah. running it. I mean, it works for both, is what I'm saying, yeah. which is pretty I'll, cool. I'll, I like to. It's like ten EB to make, I think. So I'd like to try to just weld nails to a tire. Sure. Iron, yeah, basically. we could just say that. I mean, you don't even have to roll or anything for it. We'll just say that you spend your night doing that. Um, yeah. So that's what you're doing. And then, um, Micah, you're fixing everybody's like armor things that were busted a little bit in the previous fight. Yep. Um, so that's cool. So we'll go up to Zed. So Zed, you go back to your apartment unit. Um, yes. And... I go back to the. I go back to the studio. Yeah, Our yeah, because you have a studio unit. and a unit you, that the wall got blown out between two units and you made it just one. <laughs> one just giant studio, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I would go back to uh, to the studio uh, where we run our show, uh, A to Z, kind of a uh, opinion slash news slash entertainment show. That's really just me uh, giving my opinions <laughs> on, <laughs> on things, uh, but also backed by like, here's the stuff they don't want you to know real truths laying out some real truths um there is one person who lives in the studio who is rent free and i don't know if i told anybody that they live here um uh her name is birdie she's about four foot ten uh and she's my producer yeah. uh and so so she would probably be in there um kind of keeping an eye on you know the the blog and the the, the internet interactions and things of that nature yeah so um, you enter the room and she wasn't there this morning because she had to go out and do stuff because you wake up at random times so she doesn't she decides she so she wasn't there this morning because she went out to do stuff she doesn't wake you when you're asleep she just lets it happen <laughs> but she's back now she must have come back while you were out um and she's she's like looking at a feed uh on this like monitor that she has in front of her uh she's got like maybe four or five crt tvs in front of her that are like all displaying different feeds and stuff and she's like oh hey that video that you did of the the zoo animals that have been cybernetically enhanced that uh the the hidden cybernetics in the zoo uh that's that's doing pretty well people like that animal stuff you should probably do more of that uh getting into that zoo was something that was that was a tricky one though uh, yeah I, I mean but nothing beat that thrill uh, like the brain dance video of you running away from that tiger you tried to let go all right that that uh, i will not forget that one that is for sure but um I got a, I got something else, and I'll just kind of reach around for for a cable and just <laughs> plug it in. Oh, you got more uh, uh, footage. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and it always is a little bit nauseating, so just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 she uh, so uh, if you plug into the thing, uh, she goes over to a different desk that you've set up for her in the studio, uh, and it has a brain dance editing box, uh, and she kind of starts to like look through the footage in your brain <laughs> essentially um and uh she starts to like look at for pieces just like oh this is great like you yeah when when they started shooting at you through that window holy are you okay by the way <laughs> 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 all right, all right i mean you've been in worse scrapes for sure um and then uh so she's like editing on the uh uh on her computer and everything like that and you it's interesting on your end because what you see on your end is essentially it's all from your point of view of course um unless if you decide to like jack out and like just i do have a from... like a shoulder mounted camera as well that probably wasn't out during this because i was not expecting well uh, brain dance is cool because essentially what it is is um it uses code to figure out what's going on around you based on the sounds and sights so you can actually like go third person in your own brain dance if you really oh, felt wait. like it which is fucking wild <laughs> but, but it, it won't be as it, it won't be as nauseating if you do it that way let's put it that way because if you were to stay in first person you're just gonna see her like jumping all over the place in your mm -hmm. vision and like picking parts that are really cool and stuff like yeah. that taking out parts that are boring like <laughs> so um, but yeah, so she's in the middle of doing that, uh, but you are, like, conscious, like, you can kind of talk while your eyes are, like, kind of focused on all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it, I, um, I'm, I'm fine, everyone, I think, is, is, is alright, uh, except for Mikey, you'll get to that part in a second. Oh, um, yeah, what happened to, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah it was a it was a quite a quite a climactic end um there the there was someone who was outside though that i am a little bit interested in um finding out some more information about um i was hoping that you would pass it on to 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 suki for me see if she can do some digging on the on the net oh yeah sure well what was it well, who was it? Well, who was he uh this is uh this is, this guy named king works with uh with sino tried to tried to offer us a rather uh insulting amount of money to buy out this apartment what did he look like again uh like a uh corpo asshole 
You know, I think I saw him on my way in, and I think he talked to me, too. Same thing, he wanted to know who runs the apartment and needed a signature for legal purposes to buy out the apartment, but I didn't, I just kind of walked. Like, I didn't talk to him at all, because fuck that guy. Yeah, um, did he, was he, was he here, was he here long? Ah, uh, I mean, I got here, it's, it's like six now, I got here at three, so I guess he's been standing out there for a good bit now. Does he have nothing better to do? Uh, corpos, they got one track mind, it seems. Yep. <laughs> <that>. Vomit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got the bucket. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Well, if uh, if if Suki can find out anything else about him, particularly anything that um. Perhaps he or his uh, his corpo bigwigs uh, want this particular place for. Uh, if you could just let me know. Yeah, I can pass it along. We'll see what he knows. Right. Cool. Which one's um, Suki again? Suki is the our, the net runner. Your net runner. Okay, yeah, yeah. your your contact. AKA also chaos. Yeah. We're not we're not um we're still not really talking too much. So uh, if you could be the. Yeah, I'll tr I'll try my best. They've been like a little uh, distant lately. I don't know what's going on with them, but uh, I'll I'll see what I mean. Email. I'll do my best. We'll see what happens. All right. Uh, thank you. I might go out a little bit later. Um, maybe I'll see what Lux is doing. They always seem to get into some kind of something. All right. Sounds good. Have fun. And with that, we're gonna smash cut the Lux in her apartment. Uh. I wish she were doing something exciting. She's actually just putting on makeup and trying on clothes. <laughs> That's she awesome. might be like she might be like texting people. Yeah. And like, <laughs> just like a around. montage of like pop music. You blowing yes. a bubble like bubble gum yes. as you're like texting, trying <laughs> on different it. coats. Be like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe this. No, Maybe. next time. <laughs> so uh, I want to say it gets dark out by the time uh, you're ready for going out on the club. Um, if anybody else, I want to say a few hours have passed, so if anybody else wanted to go to the club with you, uh, cause it sounded like Zed wanted to see what was going on. Oh, Kip too. <laughs> yeah. I would uh, bring my guitar and call up the band. Micah <laughs> and Kells, if you would like to take a break for the night, uh, you could go with as well, or you could just keep working. I'll keep working. Yeah. Um, is it all right if I, uh, buy some stuff? Yeah, sure. We can figure that out. Um, uh, yeah, let me let me know what you would want to buy. Um, I'm also going to at some point text Zed and ask uh, if they know anything about you know can find anything on King or why they might want this building. <laughs> the question <laughs> on everyone's mind. <laughs> uh, well, as soon as I get that, I would just text back. Currently looking into that. That's it. It's very boring. Very straightforward. <laughs> it's it's everything that needed to be said. All, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Three <laughs> eggplant blah, blah, emojis. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> what about Kells? I think Kells would finish up his boomerang for Zed, which I think he, he gave it some Zed flavor. It's got like three syringes, two scalpels, and a bone saw on each of the one of the tie iron things. So it's a little it's, it's Zed flavored. <laughs> yeah. And um, I think he drops it off at the uh, at his clinic, and then he'll he'll go out for a little bit. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, with that being said, it sounds like you all meet up kind of near the stoop. Uh, you can tell that uh, where nightlife happens in Los Sombre, uh, because while your street is pretty dark, there's only like one working <laughs> um, uh, light, uh, street light. Uh, you can hear the sound of downtown, old, of old downtown, like picking up because nightlife is starting up. Um, so like you can hear like the base of some of the clubs starting up and you can see lights kind of a couple blocks over that like look like cars going by and people going excitedly to bars and everything like that. Um, what you also notice when you get out on your stoop is that there's a black van sitting outside and it drives away. <laughs> Can I sit on the back of your motorcycle, Kells? Yeah, just... just be careful. Gonna, I have my guitar with me, though. I'm just kind of like playing with it. I sit... Mm -hmm. I sit with my back facing his back 
So I'm facing backwards off the bike. The sweat the sticks God, you together. So <laughs> yeah, I need to hold that. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, Lux, what did you decide on to wear out? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Um, I, I think she probably went with something probably very similar to what you would see Ariana Grande wear. So it would be like kind of latexy and like a little skirt and a little crop top and um, probably like a cat ear headband. <laughs> Just one and, cat and ear. Boots. <laughs> Just a single that would cat be a ear. cat horn. A cat horn. <laughs> Cats are different in cat cyberpunk. Cat ears, but it's a cat ear headband. So. Did anyone else decide to dress up for the club, or are you just wearing what you always wear? I'm wearing the same like exterior like suit jacket and somewhat somewhat nice slacks, but they're a different color. They're like a they're like a maroon, and then uh, I have a, a silver button up under like a silk silver button up underneath. It's just got like a nice like deep deep cut V on the front. Nice. And, because uh, my, pick. my armor, so I'm just gonna always wear that. <laughs> Kip has done nothing since the big fight, so he's still got a little bit of Mikey's blood from when he rode him down the stairs on him. And <laughs> just like, didn't Body do pick. anything about. It. Got a little bit of duck dirt on him. <laughs> just the dirtiness of a duck, just all over. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say poo. It's not poo. It's not <laughs> poo. That's gross. Yeah, I want to say you you all did have like a little brownie session at, at Kip's place for yeah, a second a little bit before of crumbs going out. On him. Yeah, then you all decided to like pregame with some brownies and head out of the town. <laughs> um, so how do you all get there? It sounds like uh, Kels is going to take his motorcycle. What about uh, Zed and Lux? I'm driving. You're driving your I'll cool ride. car? I'll Describe ride. your I'll... cool car. I'll ride cool with Lux car. if Lux will let me ride with her. Yeah, of course. I am going to toss my my guns into the trunk and I'm going to wear a small fur jacket, pink, uh, <laughs> so that I can have um, my pistols on me. Fur jacket that, what animal? What animal is pink? Uh, oh my god, it's <laughs> fake, Dave. It's a tiger that I died. <laughs> <laughs> well, it died, but then I died. <laughs> it's real tiger. <laughs> which are even authentic. more endangered right now. <laughs> It's a this was the mix. last tiger. This was the last one. <laughs> Got it for a steal. <laughs> um, it was albino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. So> rare. <laughs> We're spiraling so hard. Um, but uh, okay, so you drive up. Uh, you drive your cars over to um, uh, uh, a bar. What is the name of this bar? Didn't we? Did somebody come up with one? Didn't you oh, have one? Fucks. Box? <laughs> I did. Um, <laughs> fucks, that's down the street. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm getting off here then. It's a 3 a.m., no. 4 a.m. bar. Yeah, that's that's definitely the strip arcade brain dance bar. <laughs> strip arcade, God. And it's like flux, but the, it is flux, but the L doesn't work. Like the neon sign of the L doesn't work. So everyone work. cheekily calls it flux. <laughs> it hasn't um, worked in years. Isn't it? I think it's. Is it Taffy's? Taffy's, that's it. Oh, okay. right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's what it is. So it's called Taffy's? It's Taffy's. Yeah. It's like a high end strip club. There's like cages and shit. Mm, yeah. And it's in an unassuming part of town because it's old downtown. So it's like a building that used to be like a laundromat, but it's like yes. one of those two floor laundromats, brick wall and everything. But the inside has been completely redone. And they've also blown out the walls in the, in the adjoining buildings to make the place even bigger. But I want to say it's like probably one of the number one spots in Los Sombre because it's, you know, it, it, the district isn't huge or anything, but it's, this is the place that like, if pe people who have never heard of this district, which nobody really has, if you know somebody that lives there, they would be like, oh, you gotta go to Taffy's and stuff like that. It's the hidden gem of Los Sombre. Um, <laughs> and you come in and you open the doors uh, and inside is like a metal detector kind of thing. It goes off, but you're here enough, Lux, that nobody really cares. <laughs> And actually, awesome. I want to say it goes off for everyone because it's a really old metal detector. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's just part of, of the flavor. It's, it's, yeah. Who who does not have any cybernetic? Exactly. Yeah. It'd be weird Me. if it didn't go off when I walk through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it breaks. It just sheds. Um, but yeah, uh, Lux, you see in the back uh, the usual table where all of your friends tend to hang, hang out the big booth. Uh, there's a spot, and it's kind of near the dance floor, and the bar is, it's in the eye shot of the bar, so they definitely get you your drinks all the time. It's your spot, and a couple of your friends are already there. 
Uh, am I allowed to play with my band on stage? You could probably talk to the manager. Is your your jerk band jerk. is there? They they got the call from you, so they're all yeah. there. What's the name I of your band again? Them. Our our band's name is called Cadavers Melting Money. Oh fuck! <laughs> um, and uh, how many uh, like do you just have the usual we play ensemble? Pop music. <laughs> pop music. I love it. Um, but uh, so uh, yeah, your band is standing kind of near the entrance. They're like some of them are checking like. Uh, their they phones all have, like, or their tech. way too much hair in front of their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like the Beatles. Yeah. Shirtless so Beatles. they're non-characters, and I'm like the, I'm the face of the band. You're the, <laughs> you're the face. metal skull of the band. So the other ones literally don't have faces, it's all just hair. It's just hair. <laughs> <laughs> they're like Cousin It from the Adam's Band. <laughs> they, they go up to you, Kip, and they're just like, well, you said you got a gig for us tonight, man? Yeah, we're gonna play on the stage. Oh, I man. think we should open with our, our first hit. Uh, but fucking corpos. <laughs> what do you think? I think it'll go well with this crowd. Yeah, oh god, we all hate the corpos. <laughs> yeah, we all fuck the corpo. <laughs> no, nobody wants to fuck a corpo. Yeah. Or wait, did we have a fake swear we were gonna use? Was it sh uh, schmuck? Schmuck the corpo. <laughs> schmuck the corpo. <laughs> and our song, our hit single is but schmucking corpo. <laughs> Let's get up on stage, everybody. Well, start doing I, a sound check. Uh, you start getting, you start walking over the stage. There's already a band playing, and there's we like push a, him off. There's, a, <laughs> there's like a bouncer that's kind of like close to the bar. He's like, "Whoa, hey, are you on the schedule?" Yeah. Uh, what's your name? My name's Kip. No, I mean your band name. Oh, um, <laughs> it's Cadavers Magic Money. He, uh, like his eyes other. light up for a second. And he goes, "You're not on the list." We're on the list. You're not on the list. Check it again, idiot. He checks it again. Still not on the list. Yeah. Go talk to the manager. We could probably get you up there. It's kind of a slow night, but just go talk to the manager. Well, what's first. this band's name? This band is the Fallopian Tubes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need to be ready. I was over like, make it up. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk to him. <laughs> so you go off to go talk to the manager. Um, there's just like a door that says manager. You knock on it, and uh, th that exchange kind of happens. And King is there. And King is there. <laughs> and he's got a gun. And I <laughs> no. make the black 